be back in a minute. He's just going to get us coffee. Hello my lovelies, I'm here with Louis. We've just been to see his new vet, haven't we? Weren't they lovely? Yes, they were. Well, so far first impression, amazing. So, um, I was so pleasantly surprised because she asked me to go back from the beginning, although she has notes from his vets from before. She asked me from the beginning all his um, health history, any concerns that I have, which I've never experienced before. She checked him over everywhere, which with the vet that, you know, I moved him to six months ago. They never did that. They just looked at whatever problem I came with but they never checked his heart or you know she checked his his um, glands and his heart and she felt all his body she did his glands and she was so lovely she kept giving him little treats even like a little um, uh, chicken paste but he wouldn't wouldn't have any of it because he's so nervous he just like trembles constantly uh, so, uh, the upshot of it is he will have to have his teeth done again and she said that they can remove this lamp um, on his lip while they're doing the teeth and send it off just to make sure that it's not something, you know, funny because obviously nothing is working what I've been doing. So I'm gonna be waiting for the estimate now, which is gonna be thousands of pounds. Well, not thousands, but definitely over a thousand. And the poor thing will have to go in again, won't you? Isn't it terrible? Let's move the camera. How did you find the experience, Louis? Was it a positive experience? Was it? Did you like it? Yes. Right, my lovelies, I'm gonna take him home now. I'm just putting a bit of eye makeup on. So today, I was supposed to go to Max and Spencer's and return a bra that I bought. So, I really, really need new brass. I have two or three that are okay, but I have lots of brass that are too big now for me. So, I have quite big boobs, and they are mine. I haven't had them done. And with age, obviously, <laughs> they start sagging they don't just stand there to attention so you need more supportive lifting bra because of that and also because i lost almost two years ago now i lost probably 14 pounds at first i lost like 10 and then towards the end of last year I, I lost a few pounds as well and it wasn't the first 10 was intentional you might remember I um, went on that just counted calories basically then I went a bit on a, for a month on a carnival diet just to try it and had a bit of stress as well at the end of the year so I lost like two or three more pounds and because of that, I lost a cup from my boobies. And of course, when you're getting older, you lose all the volume here at the top. It all gravitates towards the floor. And um, with losing the weight, I lost volume here. So 
I wear bras that are slightly padded and by padded I don't mean you have that padding to make your boobs bigger that they are structured I never wear bras that just have a wire and and lace because that doesn't give you any support but I also don't want want a bra that will squash me and push my boobs under my armpits which a lot of bras do because that's not attractive either so it's so difficult to find a good bra i have one that is perfect but they don't make it anymore and to be honest there isn't that many places where you can get a good bra marks and spencers but they brass they all look pretty but the shape of them it's very very hard now and again i find one that um I actually like the the shape it gives me most of them I think I need like a balconette bra you know that is almost like straight here that lifts you up to bring that volume up here because you know the normal like triangular bras what they tend to do they are still empty in the top part of the bra everything is down there this is too much information isn't it <laughs> and they squash you here so it's very difficult so I ordered this one bra and of course I didn't like it and um, I didn't like the the shape of it so what I'm saying really is that um, I was going to go and return that bra to Marks and Spencer's but the weather is terrible last week was getting a bit better it was nice and sunny and quite warm and now it's going back it's cold it's a hurricane out there and raining so again i don't want to go out in a weather like this so i'm not going out oh um let me tell you about louis so I got the estimate for Louis and he is going in on Monday so you are watching this vlog on Monday that's when Louis is having his procedure so pray for him I am so worried you know because he's going on the anesthetic again thankfully you know he's healthy when she checked him his heart is healthy so Hopefully he'll be okay, but you know, I just feel sorry for him that he has to go through all that again. But let me tell you this. So I don't know if I told you after um, I've seen the vet, I was talking to you in the car, wasn't I? That I asked her if his teeth should be looking that plucky, you know, they have a lot of plaque when he's only had them done five months ago. And she said, in some circumstances that can happen if there is something underlying going on that the teeth keep getting like this but she said no it shouldn't really so that means that they've done a terrible job all they did is whipped out nine of his teeth and probably didn't clean the rest that's how I feel almost like they thought well we can get more money for whipping out all these teeth we will take out the ones that are the most plucky and won't do anything else obviously I can't prove that because like I said for all these five months I never looked in his teeth <clears throat> his teeth are very difficult to see because he's got very short face you know shih tzus have short and he hates me looking in his mouth he hates having his teeth brushed and all that so I should have looked straight after he had it done but you know you just think yeah they've done their job and it should be fine anyway the estimate I got and that's just the estimate so the price is the same price that I paid at the other vets but he is having extra blood test he's having the lamp removed and sent uh, to be tested He's having x-ray as well so I'm getting so much more done for exactly the same money that he 
that I paid for his previous procedure. So that just tell, tells me what con artists they are. So, but you know, I need to let it go because what's the point talking about it? Then can't turn back the time. So I will let you know how he is, but obviously I will let you know in the next vlog. I wanted to show you this. I've bought uh, this uh, rib diffuser. I really like this, especially in bathrooms. They work the best in like small spaces. So I found this company. It, I think it's called Essence 80. And what they do is um, dupes for expensive perfume. I haven't tried the perfume from them yet, but I might. But I thought, because what I've noticed, they do also candles that smell like the expensive perfumes and those diffusers. So this, this one is called Wren, and this is uh, supposed to be Joan Malone, Frisia and Pear, and it smells gorgeous. You know, some of them, you can't even smell them. I now and again turn the sticks over as well, so the wet ones are at the top. It smells lovely. I've never had Jo Malone uh, pen fridge. I'm sure I've smelt it. So I can't say that he smells just like it, but he smells very nice. So I might go back and buy some uh, um, candles from them and I might try some perfumes. Don't really want to buy perfumes because I have so many perfumes, honestly. Um, but yeah, you might want to have a look. I have a discount as well. Like I said, I've bought it myself, but um, they run like an affiliated program, so I, I can get discount for you from them. So yeah, have a look. Essence 80. I will leave it in the description box. I really, really like it. And the bottle is it's really classy as well. I will need mascara. You know what I'm thinking to do. So I've had a few days where my eyes looked awful again underneath. I had this like really terrible bag. I actually took a picture of it this time. And then this morning I woke up and it looks fine, but I'm fed up with it. I don't know what it is. So I think I am ready to go and just have a consultation with a plastic surgeon about an eye job. More than anything, I want him to tell me what this is and if it's fixable. So, I mean, I'm telling you that now I've because I've been having this for a couple of weeks now. Two days I'm baggy, one day I'm fine. And I've been talking with Paul about it for two weeks now. <laughs> I still haven't made an appointment. But I think I might because it's getting me down. I've been feeling down anyway. I've been feeling down quite a lot lately. And it's so hard to get out of it. So it's what I always forget to do. I used to do it when I was quite depressed and I was still on, on antidepressants is the daily gratitude. I used to wake up first thing in the morning and say my gratitude for anything, for any little things, for having a roof over my head, you know, and that used to help so much. But I know it's the weather that is getting me down and cabin fever. Like today I told you, I was going to go to Marks and Spencer's, at least he would get me out. I see people, change of scenery, but I don't want to go. It's just so awful outside that I just want to curl up on the sofa and watch a movie. I suppose it's winter blues, isn't it? And I think a lot of us get like that in the winter. It's, um, it's pretty normal. I think that's why people, they live in a warm climate and always sunny are much happier than us miserable Brits here. 
Oh, um, just in case you want to know what I used, I used that Pat McGrath um, liquid eyeshadow in Luna Rose and then the brown was just Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk and on my lips I have Lancome Ideal and Charlotte Tilbury Princess, Dance Floor Princess. Do you know what? My, my Dance Floor Princess is like I just have that much left but I know I bought a new one and can I find it? I think I think I've put it in one of my handbags but which one so I will have to go through all my handbags and try to find it and also the mistake I made these lipsticks you just then buy a refill but I forgot about that so I bought the whole lipstick again and can't find it okay my lovelies um, I'm gonna go curl up on the sofa and watch a movie hello my lovelies I'm out <laughs> so the sun is shining today it doesn't look like it because I'm in a car park so I'm out to return this bra because I think it's been a week since I got it can you even see me it's a bit dark here isn't it looks like I'm missing half a head <laughs> Yes, so I'm out. Um, I'm going to go and return this bra and I might just have a look around. I might go on to Charlotte Tilbury's because she recently came out with Hollywood Reds um, lipsticks. I have loads of bright lipsticks but you know spring is coming, summer is coming and I'm planning on wearing more bright lipsticks then. So I'm going to have a look. I almost bought some online, but I'd rather see them, you know, in real life so I get the right shade. done um i don't know how long i can talk to you i think my battery is gonna go so didn't buy any bras they were all awful well they they were pretty but they didn't fit my boobs how i wanted wanted them to so no bras went to charlotte tilbury's looked at the red lipsticks 
to be honest, I have already those colors in other lipsticks, so I didn't buy any, but I bought, I think I was telling you the other day that I can't find my Dance Floor Princess lipstick that I think I've bought, new one, so I bought a refill for, for my case. And I tried those two dresses. I'm obsessed now. All I'm looking at is dresses. Um, they were okay, but not exactly what I would want. Uh, what else? Oh, when I was in Marks and Spencer's, I saw this fabulous lady. She just looked amazing. She had bright pink coat on with diamante brooches. Her shoes had some sort of diamante and I had to stop her and tell her how fabulous she looked. And she said, oh, thank you, you've made my day. She said, I'm 80. But she said, when I look in the mirror, this doesn't match who I am. And I said, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, I said, you look fabulous anyway. She looked great. I wish I had more guts and um, I say if I could film her, you know, <laughs> but um, yeah, I didn't want to do that. But honestly, I love that. And and whenever I see anybody that looks great, I always tell them. I think it makes people's day. It's just nice to spread the joy. And I absolutely love, I know I'm not a young star, but when I see ladies in their 70s, 80s looking fabulous, I think, yes, you go, girl. <laughs> So that was really cute. Uh, what else? Yes, so all in all, I just have a lipstick refill and no brass. There is no choice, honestly. And also, I am having an ugly day. <laughs> We've talked about ugly days before. And to top that off, my left eye has been just watering all this time i have those days i don't know if this is something to do with my sinuses because you know my nose is still dripping and that spray helped a bit i i would say i don't have as much that burning pain up here um when i bend down but it's still not right i must have some chronic brain rhinitis or whatever this is called so maybe that's why my eye is um, running but yeah it's been running all day long so anyway I'm gonna go home now and have something to eat I haven't eaten anything yet and I haven't even had a cup of coffee what time is it it's only 11 51 in the morning um, I like to always get out quite early because I don't like big crowds and places being busy. So, um, and I never really have coffee before I go somewhere because I have to go to the toilet very often then. So I'm going to go home, have a coffee and something to eat. Hello my lovelies. It's Sunday. Sunday. It's not morning anymore. It's midday. So... There is no rain at the moment, so we are going to go in a minute with Louis. We have to now, honestly, we spend our day on the weather app every day, trying to find a time when, oh, the sun is coming out, um, the time when it's not going to rain so we can take Louis out. So that's what we are going to do. I've ordered some more brass, <laughs> this time from Next. <clears throat> so if I find any good ones, I will let you know. I've also ordered some, I'm looking now for spring, you know, I can't wait for spring. I've had enough of this miserable weather. Can't wait till May. We are going away in May um, for a week with Louis, somewhere really nice, obviously in this country. Um, and let's hope that the weather will be nice then. So I can't wait for that. Yes, so I've started um, looking at some stuff for like spring summer now and I've ordered I can't even remember now what I've ordered I've ordered a couple of things from Karen Millen 
because it was on sale a lot of her stuff is always on sale anyway um, so yes when it arrives I will show it to you what is that oh <laughs> I can hear someone speaking I've got my headphones here <laughs> and I'm listening to a podcast and I thought someone was speaking and I didn't know where it was coming from so I'm just waiting for Paul to finish because he's ordered some acrylic boxes for his trainers. So he's putting them together. <laughs> when he's finished that, we will go for a walk. I'm going to finish this vlog here. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.